Good morning. This is Keith Peterson. Welcome to my Cardinal. This Cardinal is one of the first to have the uh, 3100 STEC autopilot. In fact, it is the first. It was used for certification. Uh, on my way to Iowa Falls uh, today, I'm going to show you a little bit about that autopilot. I just have a few hours with it. I'll show you what I know so far, and I'll talk about a couple of the features that are interesting. So for now, we're just going to get off the ground. And Cassidy, I'll send you the pop to party. 2-7, Cassidy. So we're off the ground, head on course, which isn't uh, too much of a change here, it looks like. Uh, the first thing we can do is we can pre-select our altitude that we want to fly at. Let's just say we're going to fly uh, just for fun. Big knob rolls the big numbers, the little knob rolls the little one. Fly at 2,000 feet. Now what's kind of cool here is I can get my airspeed to my best rate of climb, which I'll make uh, 95 knots for now and uh, turn on my autopilot and just say indicated airspeed. I'm going to hit the uh, bug to center up here. We're in roll right away. When it first starts, we're in roll. And um, that keeps us going for a little bit, but I'll set heading here and then I'll go to heading mode. Now we're in heading mode. Get ourselves cleaned up here for the climb. Now what's nice about this is it's going to hold that indicated airspeed until we get to the altitude that I've pre-selected. Now flaps closed. Notice the flight director also comes on at the same time and we can see the flight director Altitude 200 to go. Controlling our pitch and altitude there, uh, pitch and roll. Of course it announces it's uh, 200 feet as you heard. That's the STEC talking about that. Says capture. It does a pretty slow sneak up on the altitude. Altitude. What's nice about this is the altitude the level's on is exactly the Aspen's altitude because it's getting it from the Aspen. So just to give you an example here, and let's see we're at 29.82. When you change sectors and it, somebody says, oh, now we're at 29.87, watch what the autopilot does. It notices that you've changed and it automatically corrects for you back down that 40 feet. So that's a real handy feature. So let's bring it back to A2. Diffuse the poor autopilot. Now we are in um, heading mode, but you notice our course is yonder here just a little bit. And if I do a, if I uh, flip over to nav, it's going to make a pretty good cut and uh, and adjust in that direction. Oh, it looks like I'm going to have to talk to Rockford. So let's just say hypothetically that I don't want to talk to Rockford. Let's give this a try. I, uh, if I grab the route, I can pull it up a little bit here and create a rubber band waypoint. Let's see if it wants me to do that. Yes. So I'm not going to activate RB11. Okay. So I'm going to go direct. Uh, RB11, enter, activate. Now my needle is centered. Now I can go to nav mode. And it's going to turn me on route. Go back to map mode here. Roll in a little bit. I'm going to just to the outside of Rockford, and then I'm moving on. 
So here we are. We're in altitude hold. We're in nav GPS steer. And we're on the way to Iowa City. Oh, sorry. We're on the way to Iowa Falls. They do seem similar, don't they? And that's the first step now. There's a bunch of interesting things that happen here. Uh, these lights are pretty bright. You can go to menu mode and then go down, 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 down. And it'll dim those lights for us, which is kind of nice. We also have the opportunity to flip to a white on their, uh, uh, I guess it would be green on black instead of a black on green. So that's an option as well. This little um, speaker comes on when you're in menu mode and it goes off again when you come out. Now, if you hit uh, this speaker mode and then hit this button, that cancels your alerts, and you see the little speaker turns off. Caution. Obstacle. Caution. Ah, obstacle. That's my 540 talking to me about an obstacle. Caution. Obstacle. And there are some powers Caution. up here, so 2,000 feet is not a good altitude to be at. So let's, uh, let's go back to the other mode here, turn our alerts back on, and then I'm going to roll in. come out of that mode and then I'm in altitude now I'm going to roll in 3,000 feet and I can set 3,000 feet and it doesn't do anything right away until I set a vertical mode. So I could hit vertical speed 100 feet per minute and up it goes. Now I can change this. I can make it 200, 300. Let's just make it 100 for now and pretty soon there we go. We're going up at 100 feet per minute. A little over right now because it's going to average out. Go ahead and crank that up to 200 feet per minute. Get myself on a uh, Lena Peak Cruise setting there. And that's what that's going to do for a little while. Climb to 200 feet per minute. There it is. Nailed it exactly 200 feet per minute. So well, there you go. We are autopiloting. Now, when we get to approaches, um, it's pretty easy, really. If I were going to do a localizer or intercept and approach course in route, I would uh, I would just hit approach mode and then set up my approach over here on the 540s, and it would intercept. And uh, I watched it fly a full approach, the outbound um, procedure turn, inbound ILS glide slope to the runway. Very impressive. It does the whole thing between the 540 and, uh, and the 3100. Uh, if I'm doing a regular ILS, uh, of course, in the 3100, in the, in, the, in the 540 here, you can set your procedures and the approach, how you're going to enter that approach, that procedure. But basically, you activate the approach here, and you go into approach mode here, and uh, everything captures and everything um, follows along. So there's no in-transition button pushes or anything, flipping from analog to digital or flipping from uh, in route to uh, approach. It's all integrated together. So that's good fun. We'll show uh, we'll show some of that at another time. Uh, let's see. Let me comment about a couple of other little details. It has, of course, um, the level button. The level button at any time, if you're in any unusual latitude, you press the level button, or maybe mash the level button, <laughs> and uh, it'll correct itself and bring itself back to a straight down, straight and level, and uh, it'll uh, encourage you at that point to turn on the autopilot. So the autopilot's not on; it's in level mode, but um, at that point, then you can switch. You can uh, turn on the autopilot and plan your plan your flight from there. It also has envelope protection, and we're uh, we're going somewhere. If we won't play that right now, but if you get it uh, beyond certain pitch uh, constraints and roll constraints, it will uh, talk to you. And uh, airspeed also, if you get below certain airspeed uh, limits, probably above. I haven't, haven't checked that one. Um, it'll talk to you, and it'll start taking action on your behalf. The only way you can stop that from happening, it does that even if the autopilot and flight director are off. Uh, the only way to keep it from doing that is just to turn off the autopilot. So that's it for now. Thanks for riding along. We'll talk to you more later.